takes the snap, they roll him left, he throws it left, Cruz has got it, down the left side, he goes, across midfield to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Victor Cruz! 74 yards, and he's done it again! Second and goal, 5, Manning, handoff Bradshaw, breaks the tackle, runs to the right, to the 5, and a walk-in, touchdown Giants! out of the gun, back to throw. He looks left, now looks right, he has all day. Hits Bradshaw at the five, Bradshaw to the goal line, touchdown Giants! Manning over center. He's gonna throw it left for Nix, touchdown Giants! Cowboys have two deep safeties. Manning out of the gun, snaps have been shaken. This is a good one. Manning is back, slides left, throws left, completes it to the five, to Ballard down at the one yard line. First and goal, Giants, 1-12 to go. Second and goal of the one, for the lead, a minute to go. Hand off Jacobs, he runs right, follows his blockers to the goal line, touchdown Giants. With 46 seconds remaining, 35-34 Giants. Two point conversion, Manning in a shotgun. Draw to Ware. He's going to run right, and Ware's going to get in for the two. Romo back. He has time. Over the middle. Pass is complete to the 30-yard line to Miles Austin. What a throw by Romo. Just over the outstretched arm of Aaron Ross. Ten seconds to go. Nine. Eight. Romo will spike it. And now Dan Bailey at the end of regulation will try to tie this up with a 47-yarder from the left half. Snap is good, and the Giants call the timeout as he makes the field goal, but Tom Coughlin called the timeout. You heard the whistle before the kick. Here's Bailey for a 47-yarder with six seconds to go to send or to tie the game up. He gets set, McBriar to hold. Snap is good again. Kick on its way, and it's blocked! Blocked by the Giants, and it bounds into the end zone and through the back of the end zone, and the Giants will win it. Individual rolls up. Yep, Jason there Pierre Paul, JPP. And the New York Giants have saved their season. The morning of the game, it's brought to my attention. Jerry puts two tickets to the NFC Championship game on each player's stool in their locker room the night before the game. If Dallas wins, the NFC Championship game is in Dallas. Now, did I make a big deal about it? No. But did I know that it happened, and did I make sure the players knew that that happened? Sure. That definitely fired us up. That was like, now they're disrespecting us. They beat us twice, and now they're disrespecting us. No, we're going we're gonna to take it to them. Manning takes the snap. Back to throw. Swings one left. Wide open, Schubert, the Cowboy 40. Sheds the tackle. Down the left sideline. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Amani Schubert. Second and goal at the one. Jacobs now in at tailback. Manning, handoff Jacobs. He runs right, plows to the goal line. Touchdown, Giants. And they regain the lead with 13.29 to go. Hey, you see that defensive front right there? Osi Umanura, Michael Strahan, Justin Tuck. I mean, you know, right now, they, they pretty much know it's it's in a lot of ways on them. They're going to go to the end zone. End zone. Here we go, fourth and 11 at the Giants 23. 16 seconds to go. Giants leading by four. Romo takes the snap. Back to throw, has time to the end zone. Intercepted by the Giants. R.W. McCorder. back to throw, zips one left, caught by Cruz, runs out of a tackle to the 40, up to midfield, makes another man miss to the 45, down the left sideline, there goes Cruz, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Giants, 74 yards. Manning back to throw, has time, deep ball toward the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown by Cruz, he took it away from two defenders. That is just straight competing, you've got to applaud this young man. First and 10, Eagles, McNabb back to throw. 
steps up under pressure, and he's sucked by Michael Strahan, and there's the record, the New York Giants record, 133 and a half, and he does it with Lawrence Taylor in the house. McNabb takes the snap, drops back under pressure, sack! McNabb flushed out to his right, gets dragged down by O.C. Humanura. Gets sacked by Humanura! New team record by Humanura. Sack number six for O.C. McNabb again over center. Drops straight back, Giants on a blitz. McNabb hit as he throws, swings it right, and the pass nearly, and it is intercepted by Seahorn. He's got it on the run, down the left sideline, cuts it at the 10, five, touchdown! What a play by Seahorn, unbelievable athleticism! 33 yard interception, Seahorn laid himself out, tipped the ball to himself, then got back up and showed that speed. At the Giant 45, Peterson back straight in the pocket, settles, throws, pass batted, and it's intercepted by Strahan. Michael running to the 20, to the 10, 5, touchdown Giants, they win in overtime! Michael Strahan with the interception, and an improbable victory, and once again the Giant defense wins them another ball game. It's just amazing, and what a guy to do it too, the leader of the defense, the guy who won't let him get down, Strahan. Delivers another big play. The Giants would travel down the road to the not so friendly confines of Veterans Stadium to face their arch rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles, in the 1981 NFC wildcard game. Free ball! Giants have it in the end zone! Touchdown! Oh my lord! are really upset. Mark Haynes is the man who scored the touchdown and the Giants are now up 19-0. Runner looking and throwing and has Missler touchdown. A strike to John Missler. Scott Bruner's three touchdown passes in the first half gave the Giants a commanding 27-7 lead. Gets another one this week against Philadelphia. But the defending NFC champion Eagles battled back on their home field, scoring 14 unanswered points in the second half, cutting the Giants' lead to six. With two and a half minutes left in the game, Ray Perkins' offense would need to hold on to the football to secure the win. And sure enough, with Rob Carpenter leading the way with 161 yards of rushing, the Giants would win the game steamrolling to their first playoff victory in 18 years. Giant sidelines go crazy, Pat. Look at those players over there. They're jumping up and down, congratulating each other. Well, like they know, they've waited. They've waited for this. They know what it is. 18 years since the playoffs. Back to throw into the end zone, and a leaping catch is made for the touchdown. It's Larry Donnell. And it takes the snap. Looked like he wanted to give it to Jennings. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Donnell. He faked the handoff, and Donnell went to the post. He's got his second touchdown catch here in the first half, and the Giants are in front 13 0. And he back to throw. He lobs one right for Donnell, who makes the catch for the touchdown. Larry Donnell with three touchdown catches in the first half. in week seven of the 2012 season, New York once again found itself locked in a seesaw battle with their arch rival. Second and six, back to throw, lobs one down the left side, and it's caught for the touchdown! Santana Moss beat Hosley, and the Redskins have the lead with 1.32 to go. Eli Manning, 23 career fourth quarter comebacks. Can he do it again? Manning back to throw. Steps up, deep ball down the middle of the field. He's got Cruz, 35, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Giants! 73 yards! And that could be boomtown for these Redskins. Salsa time at MetLife Stadium. <laughs> With 
20 mile per hour winds blowing through Giants Stadium, Bill Parcells made perhaps his best coaching decision before the game had even begun. We'll take the win. And the Giants won the toss and they're kicking off. With their aerial attack rounded by the ferocious winds, the Redskins were forced to rely on their running game, and the results were as miserable as the weather. The defense held the Redskins to 40 yards rushing, while Joe Morris racked up 89 yards and scored the game's final touchdown. Morris is going to score. And while Washington's punts just fluttered in the wind. A 27-yard punt. It started off looking like a good kick. The wind took it and just fluttered down. Sean Landetta averaged 42 yards per kick in some of the worst weather Giants Stadium has ever seen. Here's Landetta's punt. That's a great punt against the wind. And the Giants are going to down it inside the five. Great punt by Landetta. 46 yards was in the air for five seconds. So the Redskins will be going for it here on fourth. The fans are going to get up into it now, and they're going to make it tough for Schrader. Schrader handoff, and Rodgers is stopped. When you win the championship, you know you're going to the Super Bowl. It's the greatest feeling in sports. New York once again found itself trailing one of their bitter division rivals late in the game. This time it was the Washington Redskins who opened up a double digit lead in the fourth quarter. And once again, Ron Johnson would spark a heroic Giants comeback. Fran Tarkington connected with Tucker Fredrickson for his second touchdown of the day, a 57 yard catch and run that made the score 33-28. Trailing by five with just over a minute to play, New York faced a fourth and six at the Washington 29-yard line. Tarkington connected with Johnson on a 13-yard completion for a crucial first down. Two plays later, Johnson rumbled in from 10 yards out for his second last-minute game-winning touchdown in as many weeks. And the Giants pulled off a stunning 35-33 comeback victory. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. If you want to see more videos, subscribe below.